Hi, Russ Miller, Off-Grid Creationist here. I'm kneeling by our blackberry bushes. This is the first year they produce blackberries. You can, I don't know if you can see these, but there's quite a few on here. I meant to pick a few while this was being filmed, but unfortunately I ate them while I, the camera was being set up. Oh, well, that doesn't matter because that is not what I wanted to talk about. The Bible says that people are gonna be professing themselves to be wise while becoming fools. It doesn't mean that they're stupid, it means they have been fooled. I know brilliant people that can be fooled and they're gonna change the glory of the uncorruptible God, which I think today is his creation, into an image made like corruptible man and birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Well, I think they're gonna change creation into the fairy tale of Darwinian evolution. Basically, these verses are talking about idolatry, the highest form of idolatry is to think you're the most evolved, you're your own God. That's what is taught in our schools today as if it were science, and it, it confuses people greatly. In fact, one of Satan's top 10 lies is to get people to think that evolution is scientific or that evolution is science. It causes all sorts of confusion today. I talk on college campuses and you can spend 15 minutes talking to a student and they think evolution and science are, are the exact same word. Here's an email I got. You make Christians look stupid when you attack science. Oh, I never attack science. Real science is a believer's best friend, as I'm about to show you. Now, Darwinism is another issue. Then he says, face it, evolution is a proven fact. You see his confusion? When you attack science, evolution is a fact. He, he's confusing the two. The fact of the matter is, is that evolution is evolution. Creation is creation. You know, creation and evolution are exactly the same thing. Did you know that? They're both beliefs on how we came about. Neither one is science. Science is science. In fact, real science, a believer's best friend, is knowledge derived from the study and testing of existing evidence. So something needs to be testable and studyable for the findings to be scientific. Did you know that over 80% of the 200 or so branches of modern science were started by Christians? to study God's creation. That's what started modern science. We thought, you know, things just didn't come up by, about by random chance. You can't study random chance. But we have an intelligent creator. He probably put some principles and laws in place to govern the creation. And if we study the creation, we call that nature today, we might be able to, to discover some of those laws and principles. And that's what led to modern science. Now it's been undermined over the last 150 years, unfortunately, by secular humanists and atheists. You know, the Bible is the only book in the history of the world that lives on its ability to correctly predict the future. Think about it, hundreds of prophecies have been made that have already come true. The ones that are left we see shaping up right before our very eyes today. Wow, what awesome proof that it's written by the inspiration of God. One of the great prophecies found in the Old Testament given to the ancient Israelite. They were told people would turn their back on God, saying to a stone, thou hast brought me forth. Well, of course, that was 3,000 plus years ago. And today in the 21st century, I mean, we're way too smart for that, right? I mean, we would never let anyone tell us we came from a stone, right? Well, let's go to the modern textbooks and see what is taught today. Kids, kids, Earth is thought, believed, to have formed 4.7 billion years ago, and it started out as a big ball of hot rock. And then oceans formed as it rained on the stone for millions of years, and poof, here you are today. They're actually teaching that we were brought forth from a stone. Unbelievable. No wonder the Bible tells us, beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after the rudiments of the world and not after Christ. Beware. And my friends, that is what I wanted to talk about. Hi, this is one of the five DVDs from our DVD set. This one is titled The Darwinian Delusion. It covers Darwinian evolution endowed by their creator. How uh, the teaching of millions of years leading to Darwinian evolution is greatly undermined the United States of America and Western civilization. It also covers the top 25 questions and answers I get, especially skeptical oriented questions. And my friends, that is what I wanted to talk about.